Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Bentley and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Bentley's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give him while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is a second piece of equipment that we're using. And Bentley has been fitted with his own personal training collar and we will show you how to properly put that on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Now as you can see, Bentley is sitting very nicely on Fred's left hand side, which is where all of our obedience training takes place. The first command that they're gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you is healing and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Bentley take off doing that now and the command is Bentley heal. Bentley has been trained to walk very nicely at your left hand side, being sure not to pull ahead and drag you on that leash or lag behind either. He should be walking at your pace at about your left heel position. Now Fred's just giving him little corrections because when he's healing he should be focused on the task at hand and not trying to sniff the ground so he's just giving a little correction there to remind him to keep his head up. Also incorporated into our healing exercise is the automatic sit which you just saw occur and that occurs any time that you stop your feet. Bentley should sit nicely and he should remain seated until given another command. Now the next command that they're going to demonstrate is the stay command and the stay command is a hand and voice command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm and inch or so in front of Bentley's muzzle and the one word command to stay. stay. You're then going to walk out to the end of the training leash. Now Bentley should remain seated throughout the entire command until you return back to heel position or give him another command. Now this is a great command to incorporate into your everyday routine. It will help build his self-control skills to remain seated for longer periods of time. So you do want to start at a low time increment and slowly increase it up. Now when Fred returns back to him, he walks all the way around behind him as an added distraction. Bentley remains seated. Good job. And they will demonstrate and run through that heel sit and stay for you again. And the command for the heel again is Bentley heel. That automatic sit that occurs anytime you stop your feet, he should sit nicely right there at your left heel position. Good job. Stay. Open flat of your palm. And no. Now he broke the command, so the first words out of Fred's mouth were no. A slight little correction there. Gave the command again. Now this time, instead of returning back to heel position, they're going to demonstrate the come command. You're going to call Bentley in in a happy tone using his name. He should sit nicely in front of you. Very well done. Return him to heel position by heeling around the back of you. Returning him to your left hand side. He should sit again, waiting for his next command. They're going to demonstrate that again. Leave him in a sit stay. Walk out to the end of the training leash. Call him in using his name in a happy tone. Make sure he sits when he comes into you. And heal him around the back of you. Round to your left hand side. He should sit. Very well done. Fred give him a pet on his head. It's very important. We use lots of praise and positive reinforcement here to keep him motivated. We want him to know he's doing a good job. You can see he's happy that tail's wagging. Now the next commands they're going to demonstrate are the down commands. The first is down from the heel from your heel position. Going to take the open flat of your palm again, this time straight down towards the ground and the one more command to down. Good job. Then give that stay command. Again, walk out to the end of the leash. This is another great command to help develop his self-control skills that should be incorporated into your daily routine, whether it be cooking dinner, watching TV, anywhere we can put him in a down stay. Again, this will help build up his, his ability to stay down for longer periods of time. And this is actually a good time to remind you that you should be setting about 
15 to 20 minutes aside each day to run through his obedience commands with him. It's a great mental exercise for him. It, he enjoys doing it, gives him something to do, and it keeps him fresh and on top of his commands. If you notice, there's a specific time of day when Bentley gets a little overexcited there. Just throw his collar and his leash on and run through those commands. Fred demonstrates that down command for you again, and now this time they're going to demonstrate that come command again from the down position. Fred calls him in, he comes in, tells him good job, let him know he did an awesome job there, heals him around. Now they're healing around to heal into position for our last command that we're going to demonstrate. And that's the down from a distance. Now for this command you're going to leave him in a sit stay. Walk out to the end of your training leash and from the end of the training leash give the down command. Open flat of the palm down towards the ground. Good job. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Bentley has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Bentley and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer and be sure to keep in touch with us and let, let us know how Bentley's doing.